hi there my beautiful people welcome back to my channel we have this face going we all princessy looking today is this princessy well i feel so because it's pink it's you know purplish it's more pink and more pink so we have this look on the eyes lips and face well, we'll get to see which products were used as we get to the video. See you there. I'm a hot mess. Look here. <laughs> Don't mind how this face comes, I mean, is coming in tonight. And um, we'll just get it finalized all together. By the way. Welcome to my channel, guys. Rebecca's here. Um, I, I was in a tornado of eyeshadows, and I was playing around with um, one of, well, not one of, but with one of um, I Heart Revolution's latest palette, the um, Disney uh palettes they have a couple of them here i was able to get my hands on two of them and tonight i'm coming in to play with one of them one that you know i'm more gravitates to which is the beauty and the beast so this is a palette we're gonna play with today i've already um uh you know set my face with foundation and everything i started this eye off camera for you guys i was just not too sure of what to do what not to do with this palette i went ahead and played around created this look so without further ado let's just get to it to start i am gonna go ahead and so on this side, I, you know, use the shadows and also um, somewhat test out the blush. Oh, this is the palette, guys. I'm sorry. This is it. We have one side of blush and highlight and the other side, which is just eyeshadows. Beautiful colors on here. Um not the best of i heart palettes these were much of a struggle hopefully it won't take me as long as it did to create this look on camera for this look so um yeah this was much of a struggle i mainly wanted to test out the blush lately i don't know i feel like a a, a pregnant woman for shadow palettes and also craving blushes i just wanted to have these blushes test them out i'm using this one here on the cheek i tested out here on wet face which is the um on the foundation before i set it it seems to sink into the skin more when i use it on the wet platform rather than um after setting my face on this side so um, they seem a bit powdery for I mean for some reason I just wanted to have them this beauty in the the beast um cartoon was or movie was um within my era this just brings you know my inner childhood I love this um this Disney movie so i am gonna go ahead and share the other eye look finalize the other side of the face with you guys so let's get to it let's go ahead and prep my eye with the concealer i used was the milani uh concealer conceal and perfect concealer on the lid there um i did not let me just i 
I did not set the eye um, to start. I went with, you know what, this was a test. I'm gonna do all the errors, the trial and errors on that I did on this side, just so I want the eyes to come out exactly the same. I started out with Library. Library is like a very cold tone, nude shade. And, oh, excuse my dirty finger with the um, eyelash glue. So a cool tone shade. I started out with that. Then I didn't like it. And I went in with the pinkish on the perimeter. But then they are very powdery. That I can say. As you can see, nothing shows on the eye. It's mainly, um, I'm using the wrong brush. I already used this for the blue, blending the blue. I went in with this tiny brush um, with West Wing, which is this pink right here. As you guys see, it is very powdery. Not sure why I went crazy for this palette, but I mean, of course, besides the Disney theme of it, I don't think this is one of iHeart's best palettes. So going in with this brush, which is a blending brush, I'm gonna get a lot of that pink in there and just try to go in to blend that onto the skin. I also went in with Chip that was a mistake but i st i'm still gonna go ahead and put that on there just in case i went with chip further down the crease um that i was having issue with and y'all could see it's not it's an orange, but it's much brighter on the tray than on the eye. So I did that, and I used the same brush that I applied, um, blend out the pink one with. So after that, we are going to Enchantress, which is the this deep blue. This one, it's not powdery at all. It's just stick onto the pen. You gotta really dig for it. I'm gonna go ahead and press that on the outer part of the crease. And we go in on the inner part of the eye. I'm going in with that small brush with the pink. Just to bring that back on the outer part, just to blend everything. Using that pink to blend out the blue, which is transitioning into some purplish color going in with the bigger brush same with the pink which is west wing 
focus that into the inner part of the eye to soften out the blue. Alrighty, that's basically the base of it all. So this time around, I'm using one of Jum uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is the white one. I'm not sure if this can be sharpened or not. I've had this for a while. So I am I'm using the I first then applied it since it was too bulky. I um used the brush and like a flathead brush to remove the product from the tip and then Apply it on here. Doesn't need to be perfect. I just want the thickness, the stickiness of it, and the white layer of it. like so and I use um, two shades on the mid part I went in with petal which is the shimmery right here the shimmery deep pinkish purpley shade On the in on the mid part of the lid and then I went crazy a little bit I went crazy. I went in with my finger on Spell, which is this lime green shimmer over over petal. And I use the brush just to be more precise. The back of one has spell and the other side has petal. Go in with petal. And then spell. I'm using a small a smaller fluffy brush, but not it's not a flat brush, neither a fluffy, it's just one of those brush to apply the shimmers. It has some more volume to it. It's also blendable. So I'm blending that into the blue as I go. I'm gonna go in with the blue just to make sure. Everything's equal.
spell. So last but not least, I went back into West Wing, which is the pink, and I dabbed lightly into Rose, which is the deeper. It's not, well, we could go for red. It's a red shade. Um, Both of them on the outer part. I don't know why I did it, but I did. So I'm just gonna keep doing exactly what I did. Um, I'm gonna clean that brush that I applied the, um... you okay, Chicky? Chicky? Anyway, I'm gonna use that same brush. I cleaned it up. I am going back to library, which is that first nude just to set my brow bone lightly also to diffuse any type of um sharp um edges on the shadow okay. so I did that and before I go under the lid I went and conceal my under eye using Milani's concealer of course what you what Okay, all right. Come take Chicky. Hold on. Say hi to Chicky, guys. Chicky's my new baby. He's so big. He he's just shedding this morning today. We have. Chiki that says that wants to say hi. Say hi, Chiki. Hi, hi, hi. All right. What do you mean to say? Okay. So I am using my. Shoot. Close it all the way. So I'm gonna conceal with these two of Milani's concealer. Um, the first one is somewhat my skin tone. We're gonna leave that in a little bit. I'm gonna put that on top of it uh what's this one again warm 10 to brighten this one is cool toffee i love i like this one it's lighter it does conceal but it's, it gives me a lighter touch um, I have the Camo Concealer by e.l.f. that I love as well, but this one is what my duet for the time being. So we're gonna let that sit a little bit before I spread it out. Um, I'm gonna have to reapply the blush lightly because this concealer is gonna get all over. In the meantime, let me freaking um, put my eyelash glue that takes a gazillion years to dry. 
I don't know what the heck is wrong with it. Where is my eyelash glue? My lash glue. And I'm using the... It's by Pro Beauty Essentials. I don't remember what the lash... Um, who the lash is um, from. Where the lash is from, but because as i once i use them i have this little package thing here to place them on there so i i forget um who they're from over time so we're going to where's this where's my tweezer apply that and all right just let's place that somewhere moving on okay let's just tackle this concealer This is a large fluff brush by Sigma E50. Um, it's supposed to be a good brush, but lately it's been shedding for whatever reason. You see? It's brand new too. Okay. We're gonna go, before I set the under eye, I'm gonna go under the lid with damp it I'm going with this tiny brush on beauty it is a yellow shade on here And then we went in with Beast, of course, Beauty and Beast. Be Beauty and then Beast, which is a deep brown, shimmer brown on the outer part of the lower lash line. I dimped the brush so just so it doesn't Give me a lot of fallout. It would be sticky. I'm going to go ahead and clean that same brush. Go in with Beast. Beauty and the Beast. All right, let's set the under eye. I am using my favorite uh, Sephora brush and I'm using Laura Mercier loose powder. I didn't set all the way and i'm also gonna set that side of my face with the same because i'm already creasing on the top here i like to lightly set the concealer first before I go ahead and focus with the, the powder on it.
and I already have powder on this brush so let's just go in under it's my magnifying mirror There's a little more blue on the outer part here. Let's just, it's a, the blue goes further down on the um, side of my eye, whereas this one, it does not right here. So what do we think we're looking okay this one's tacky so putting on mascara I'm using this elf mascara um, not was it black waterproof mascara by elf um, just to now I'm trying to move fast because I feel like my lashes has dried up. I don't know get to it. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Takes forever. But anyway, since we're done with the top, we left the bottom going back to the bottom now that everything has dried up with the um, setting powder we're going to back to beast put it further down a little and then beauty Well, my battery died my battery died so i was in the middle of putting on mascara talking about you know my lashes drying up and then i put on my lashes i'm talking to y'all then i looked up everything was black so i am so sorry i already went on with the under the waterline i put in my the gold yellowish shade on the inner part of the waterline and then i put this is beauty and beast beast is more like a bronzy brown it doesn't show it doesn't show much but it's there it's like you see the little sheen the little shine glowiness under the lid that's beast I put on the lashes and now I used my NYX water, well, eyeliner, this one on my waterline and I am almost done. I think I, since I used the black glue on my lash, I went over the, the lash band with my um, Wet n Wild waterproof eyeliner just I don't know why but I just did just to see how the um, lash band stops right there so I just continue the darkness lightly with the with the um, eyeliner and I'm keeping it really close to the lash band and I'm not creating no wings or anything I do that and what else did I do 
what else did I do? Okay, now going on to the blushes. I use this one, something there. Um, I use that one on the wet face with the foundation, like I said, and then I like the effect of it. Since these are more powdery, I was thinking of doing it like that just to have something to hold it down and sink into the skin. But as I apply the concealer and stuff, I'm just retouching it lightly. It's a nice pinkish blush. I like it. And then over that, I'm using uh tell as old as time which is this one dabbing it into that one which is true love which as highlight they're very light as you could see this is it on my highlight um on my cheekbone i did not expect it to have such of a much of pow like like highlight brightness effect like this like glowing effect as it is on the skin because when i swatch it on the finger it's all powder it's just when i use the brush lightly fan it onto the cheekbone you see you get the glowy effect of it i like it it's not the best highlight like I said, I mainly went crazy for, or maybe I could use, okay, this may be the time, this may be the time. I'm going to use Summer of Love, which is a triple big bronzer slash highlight I think let's see speaking of bronzer I did not bronze my face yet it looks like this it's a highlight this is not a bronzer it has gold it has pink I'm gonna go over that oh yeah I like this I'm going to go over that with it. That's much prettier. It's not as powdery. It comes looking like this. This was from TJ Maxx. I got it a couple of weeks back. Um, that... Forget to bronze my face. Oof. Using Juvia's bronze, dark bronze pal um, palette. Lightly touch up this side. Because I did all this, that on that side and did not left everything on this side for you guys. And I'm using the darkest shade. No contour this time. back to the highlight tell as old as time with the same oh I think I just went too deep with the same blush brush back and forth I went in too deep let's try the nose See, on the nose, it's looking powdery. Whatever. Let's go ahead and set the face, and we'll go on to the lips, okay? Okay. 
I feel that these products, due to the powderiness of it, it's best on wet base. Can someone stop me with this blush slash highlight situation? Like, seriously. Okay. I know this is more tacky now. The eyes has more pink, slightly more pink on there than going back lightly. All right, lips. What are we doing for lips? Nude. Let's go in with Secret Milani's lipstick. By the way, for lip liner, I use Juvia's Place Lip Liner Cola. I have one and only Juvia's Place Lip Liner. I'm going to put gloss this time. I'm going to put... I have this gloss here by MAC, which is... Does it have a name? My other half. I've had this for a minute. over this okay what do we think Faces glowing, eyes popping, lips banging. 
we have a done deal guys thank you for watching um palette beauty and the beast beauty and the beast i heart revolution palette i i'm not too crazy of the shadows should i say that i mean it takes much work I love the color scheme, um, the colors on here. I see myself using the blushes, um, as I go a bit more. Um, will I reach for them on a daily basis? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's that i the blue is banging i love love this blue and perhaps maybe i'm being too hard on the palette i like the palette guys leave me alone leave it let's just leave it alone it's a nice palette beauty and the beast disney um a movie loving it um <sighs> Yeah, that's it. The other one is the uh, Little Mermaid. This is it. I, this is more, I do see similar colors um, from Beauty and the Beast in here, but they're just a different tone. And the blushes on here are much deeper. I love those. I'm looking to get my hands on the green one. I think that was the frog. It has this rich terracotta, you know, type of blush, orangey, um, deep, deep tone like this. I should use this. And this color right here is just deeper for my skin the other one is much lighter but this one is definitely going i could tell it's gonna look great on the skin um and these are the colors on here more bluish purplish um yeah so i if you guys want to see a look with this one let me know i can create a swatch uh, with both palettes and um Perhaps after this look, so you guys could see both color range. This is a good palette to grab on the site. Um, this is a uh, what's it called? A UK based product. Um, I Heart Revolution. This is still on their website for twenty dollars. Um, it's retail for $20. I was able to get it for $7 from TJ Maxx a couple of weeks back. Um, I just never happened, you know, got the, the time to use it because I was focusing more on uh, ColourPop palettes. But this time I wanted to share this with you guys. So these are the two I have for now. I'm looking around for the other um disney uh palettes they have just to have a somewhat a collection i love the color i love all the packaging of it um i wouldn't buy it for twenty dollars <laughs> but six dollars definitely six seven dollars definitely is a good um is a good find so that's that we'll go ahead and end it here today with this eye look so don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching bye bye